All right, let's go. First attempt of the day. And then overall, this is attempt number 17 of trying to beat Horizon Forbidden West without taking any damage. I am doing this in New Game Plus on Ultra Hard Difficulty, the hardest difficulty in the game. And since it's the first run of the day, as tradition dictates, we'll listen to In the Flood. As we always do on the first run of the day on stream. So enjoy In the Flood. And in case this run happens to be the successful run that'll end up on YouTube, I'll leave all the specific rules of, this, of the challenge run in the description below. But all you basically have to understand is my goal is to beat the main quest, and my health has to stay at 700 the entire time. If it ever goes below 700, the run is over. Uh, somebody asked if this is glitchless. Uh, it is, yes. And I don't think there's any no damage runs out there that allows glitches in there. <clears throat> I just feel like, for me personally, and I think that's the case for most no damage, no hit challenges, is like using glitches is kind of just, you know, feels like against the spirit of a no damage run. So yeah, no glitches, and no speedrun skips that skips like combat sequences and such. But uh, if you want to know the specific rules, uh, just type exclamation point. Um, no damage in the chat. I got a command for it. That should answer all your questions. The reason why I always say at the beginning of these runs I'll put it in the description is just because if it gets uploaded to YouTube, I'm sure there would be a lot of comments about the rules of the run. So <laughs> if it is the successful run, it'll be in the rules will be in the description. Just so I don't have to list them out every time I talk here on stream, because that would be annoying to the people watching live. <laughs> what I'm gonna do for the rest of the stream, I'll worry about that if that happens. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> All right, into the run we go. I see smoke, but not a lot of activity. And let Smoke's me just start a prediction for you guys watching here. As for the quiet, well. There's a war oh, I forgot to end the prediction from yesterday. Oops. I guess we'll end it now. What sort of machines are causing the trouble? And then we'll start a new prediction. <laughs> Lots of them. Bristlebacks, they're called. Whoopsie. Strangeness is, they're not native to the dot. Just showed up. All of and a here's sudden. the new prediction. No hunters <clears throat> to kill them. Time to gamble your points. Oh, we've got hunters. If you can. None that want to cross Alvin. Boss of chain scrape. He is self-appointed. Work stoppage was his idea. Yeah, well, I'm just passing through. Got an embassy to attend. You should have said that ain't gonna happen no time soon. What are you talking about? <laughs> Always playing the odds, huh? Hear that? That's your answer. Who is that? Karja's son priest. Cranked him down yesterday, about an hour before the machine trouble started. He's a very important man, or so he says. 
that embassy and yesterday we struggled quite a lot to get past the embassy we had a lot of runs where we got really bad luck on the embassy hopefully that won't be the case today by the way all i can do is just play as well or to the best of my ability and then see what happens <laughs> 34 putting up a crazy amount of points again this camp. causing inflation and the prediction <laughs> the odds of the prediction just can completely screw it by that one whale just dumping all their points <laughs> mm. going by yesterday is not an unsafe bet I mean true it's a dead machine that must be chain scrape. Jerusalem getting past the embassy. In there. At this point, I would probably say getting past the embassy is probably harder than Metropolis at this point. Outlander approaching. Is that the savior? Want to come in, savior? Just because it, there's definitely a lot more RNG to the embassy than there is in Metropolis. Well, at least it looks like if I make it past the embassy, the believers are going to get a lot of points. So, I'm going to try my best. <laughs> get stomped to death by a tall nick. That'd be one way to go. <laughs> Snipe some scroungers. Hey, you! Make it worth your while if you kill these scroungers. It's always something. Hold tight. I'll see what I can do. Try luring them into the tripwire. That's the last one. <sighs> Hello, Red. Luriness. What a day! What a day! Thank the forge you showed up. Tripwire's handy, but she hunts a youngin's game. I see, took, so the, yeah, so pro, then I see. Hold trigger. Work. Yep, more room. I should. All your black. Did you? Maybe. So Aaron headed south. I should be able to pick up his tracks with my focus. First tracks headed up the hill. The Aaron's. My focus can help me follow. Him. Well, I think it's fair to say if I get one shot and die, well, that probably means I took damage. <laughs> and a no damage run, it's okay to die as long as you get one shot. <laughs> That'd be silly. Sounds like someone's putting up a fight. Alright, let's see how these machines behave today. It looks like that guy is staying behind a pillow over there. Which should mean I can just take out the scrounger. Acid canisters on their backs. It should trigger a chain reaction if I hit them with acid arrows. There. And then we just need a little bit of distance on this guy so we get the long range bonus. So we can one shot him. Just the bow I'm using have all long range curls on. <clears throat> so shooting from more than 30 meters away gives me a nice damage boost you hate your new boss what's up hey, Loy. Uh, you know you might you might have to oh, meet me halfway ah! you have a test that you oh. could finish in an hour but they don't know that so you're going to drag it out by two days I'm struggling to see the issue with that, and why you would hate your boss over that. Listen, you were going. Oh, I'll clear. I'll catch. I'm sorry. You? Where's? It's. All right. No, after you left. Aaron. Oh. Listen. Are you talking? Except. Well, I. I get. Maybe. No.
Oh, you're dragging it out because you hate your boss. Gotcha. Fair, fair enough, I guess. There's the quarry Thurlis mentioned. Alright. Time to snap some more bristlebacks. Barely got that guy. One less machine. Good shooting here. Another one down. One less machine. Incoming. Another one down. Nice and easy. There. Corey's safe. Stranger, come on over here. We gotta talk. I don't know. We try to one of next is we lost who yeah, but check and thanks. I think I've cleared out most of the bristlebacks. Valley should be safe enough to travel. I'll go give Bloodies the good news. Then maybe this embassy can finally happen. But I'm still struggling to understand why you hate your boss. Like, what has come... Well, like, what have led you to this conclusion? <laughs> like, what is your motive behind this act you're doing? Since I'm apparently interrogating you now. <laughs> Did he steal your lunch from the lunchroom? Is that what it's about? <laughs> Fascism. Time to give Wadis to Baron Light. We are on the same side here. What? Ma. If you remove this. <coughs> I save. We Very well. So. Maybe. I've heard all. So smart yours. I'm here. The Empire. What? Ah. Up to well. Not. I Oh, you now they oh, there. I'll shouldn't. These are uh, either. Uh, I knew the sick uh, you. What? Change. Yeah. And. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't you. Yeah. Mm. The chain scrapes back to work. Where should I see. open a trade? I, I should see if they have anything useful before I send oh. Wadis off to Baron Light. Better see what that Karja magistrate wanted. I bet he's in the tavern. The way to be off to the embassy. Wait, so you don't like that your boss is only making you do what's in your job description? Whoever's in charge here. But if it's your job description. Isn't that what you would too. be expected to do? I mean, I, I get I get that you probably like did a lot of other things prior to this pause. It's just... Lighten up, Pai. Are you in... I'm... I'm here. And maybe... Not really. But... Come but it. All right. I... Normal... Uh, sir. But... There we go. Where is the piece? Out the command. We'll see. I don't really know if I can blame the boss on that one, because he's just like... The Tanakh tore down... Well, this is what I pay you for, so... This is what you do, I guess. Still have a long way to go. The work stoppage and chain scrape nearly halted our rebuilding effort. But I hear a certain Nora got them back to work. I was just helping out. Yes, well, I'm sure Alvin was. Correct. You're not hired to do the things that were in your job description. I see. Stand aside, soldier. Sir. And. Hmm. But. How are we to watch? Uh, yes. We have. Didn't you? Yeah. Shut up. Why? The ten. How many? <sighs> is the food? If you're ready. That's right. Nope. Not. Well, thanks. Fair enough then. I guess. I mean, I guess then you could. To be devil's advocate here. We you could have said, oh, shouldn't you have. Yeah, well, I figured. Maybe yes, argued that. Um, time. But this embassy hasn't started yet. You should have changed that drop description at some point. There's no more politics. No more. Just I am your oh, well, let me focus on the embassy. But I'm See if we have some I'll good luck on our side here. <clears throat> but luck doesn't matter if I don't nail my shots. So let's nail these shots. Stick to cover! Archers on the Red for Fasha! They got me now, Alright. 
Not skipping cutscene between phase two and three. Enough. Because there's a lot of fire on the ground. You. So if you wait for the cutscene to play out, there's a chance some of the fire will be put out. Chief. And even if I spawn on top of fire, which yes, is a thing that can happen, I'm gonna spam circle to dodge and hold to the right. That way I'm gonna have invisibility frames as soon as the cutscene ends, and there's a chance I can leave the fire without taking any damage. We'll see how it goes. And even if I do this, there's still a chance I get hit by the fire. Well, there are some issues with changing a job description. Anyway, next, let's focus on this first. I've never seen a shield like that. Good. Better scan it. Now's my chance. Don't like that he's in the water. I had to hit him directly with the bomb. Couldn't just hit the ground. Nice, okay, we got him. Alright, that's the embassy. First try today, so that's good. Although, with all the rest, I don't know why you went out, baby. If you I then I would end up. You can't wait in phase two. Because there's so many arrows flying around and you still have all the riders. Going around and shoots arrows as well. So waiting in phase two is not an option. Let's see if uh, the game allows us to fast roll to the tonic. Oh, it does. Good. We get to let up a little quicker. Oh, yeah, the pre. Oh, wait, no. Oh, wait, the prediction is after let up Never No, mind. <laughs> So it's nice to be past the embassy on the first try, but we still got lots of us coming up, which is definitely not free in any way, shape, or form. <clears throat> but yeah, like I was trying to say, uh, changing a job description, I know some managers or bosses don't like that because that can be seen Wait. as a promotion Steady now. and you could also uh, then argue as an employee that you should get a higher pay or different pay Looks like the because of it because then technically you are doing a different job and that's why sometimes they don't like to change them so just want to point out <laughs> So getting a job description changed is not necessarily an easy thing to do all the time. This is At least in my experience. Location of the coordinates I scanned from the spire. The workshop underneath a dead Horus Titan. Just the kind of place silence would slink away to. But what was he doing here? That device is blinking. Uh, the check mark that is next to Latsopolis. So you see Latopolis is marked in green, which means that's the split I'm currently on. The check mark next to it just means that I haven't been hit yet. But if I get hit, it changes to a red X. So I'm on Latopolis, and I haven't been hit on Latopolis yet. It, might, it looks a little bit weird, but that's just how the counter works. But yeah, I, I get that the check mark makes it seem like... Um... The check mark makes it seem like I have completed it, but uh, yeah, I don't know. If I had some skills in programming CSS, I could maybe, uh, I could probably have made a little UI change to the hit counter, but I don't, so yeah. I'm just using the default option. Because unfortunately the head counter is not as well made as life split is. For sp life split is uh, such a good tool. <laughs> the head counter is a bit more prim primitive in how it works, unfortunately.
Oh yeah, I used the same thing in the zero one. Yeah. Ah uh, yeah, I can add more stuff to it. Uh yeah, it's made by completely different guys. Both live split and the hit counter is both open source, so you could clearly make some changes to it if you had the skills for it. Uh, but when it comes to programming, I know nothing, so can't do that. Let's see where this goes. I guess Silence used that machine. So technically, you can make it look however you want, really. Yes, even. Not sure who made the hit counter. And to be fair, I forgot what the guy that made Live Split is even called, the original guy. So I couldn't even tell you that. <laughs> but I, I know it's two different people. <laughs> I know the hit counter was inspired by Live Split. As an alternative to no damage runs. Please step inside. Please step inside. Are you kidding me? Hmm. I think we're in luck. In luck? The door is completely messed up. Obviously. But despite the malfunction, you can still get through. <laughs> I think you could the probably easily change that if you have some skills. And, uh... See those crystals there? The uh, it probably is a pretty easy thing to change. I just the don't combustible. even know how you do that. Not nearly powerful enough to blast through a door like that. But uh, I'd imagine if you Maybe know how to work. To it open a bit more. I think it's CSS exactly. code, to my knowledge. It will only work so if you know how to do that, I guess you could probably easily change the look of it to, build it. to however you want. Because I've seen other no-hit runners have like customized layouts for the hit counter. That only grows underwater, but you should be able to find some of the nearby lake. The parts are more complicated. You'll need a spark coil from within a leap lashes power cell. Remove the power <laughs> cell before you kill the machine, or else it'll break. Got it. Please step okay, in. I have everything I need for the igniter. Now I just need to build this thing. There's a workbench near the entrance to the facility. From your time tinkering with Hades? Tinkering? More like extracting a valuable data. <sighs> this whole place is flooded. And there's another gene lock door on the other side. So maybe whenever I do my next no damage game, I'll run. Obviously I'm in the middle of this, so I don't feel like changing the UI now. But for the next time I do no damage, could maybe look into having a better UI for it for the stream. Okay. But I will definitely need some help to figure out how to do that. Looks like the power's off, except for that console. That's Genetic profile confirmed. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. You'll provide more activate. support. Thank you. That is always needed. I do. Activating. Okay, powering it up. That doesn't sound good. It appears to be unstable. <laughs> very heavy. Be careful. Well, at least I've got power. And there's data here. Looks like this recluse spider thing is a testing apparatus for Gaia and Hades. I better take a look at that excess panel. Yes, get to it. Okay, I think the circular pods are repositories. One loaded All right, Eric, time. Let's go. What are you waiting for? It's arguably one of the hardest the fights in the, the run, so stuck. see how it goes. So unstick it. It's not exactly st All right, then. Hip. Ah. It's too close. I won't make it. Don't there. need it. Now I can break the cover and pull that thing up. Yeah, he's shooting immediately. That's 
fine. Works for me. Another one down. That's not and that means he's gonna shoot us shot now. Okay, shot it into it. Here we go. What are you up to? Come on. Bring him into that. Kills all mine. Ugh, gotta cut the main stem. Not sure what attack he's doing. Okay, we good. Looked like he was about to do an attack, so got me a little worried there before I got the valve off. This thing's got a few couplings holding it up. Uh, looks like there's two more. Yeah, couplings let's do it over here first. Quit Since he's over there. Just one more. All right, past Eric. Still got the specters we need to get past before we end the clear. Because the thing is, there when phase two begins, when you use the Valor, while you're in the Valor animation, where Eloy activates it, uh, you cannot take damage, but you're kind of locked in place, so if he does an attack that, and it's an attack that's a bit longer, he could hit me right as that cutscene ends. So that was why I was a little worried, but uh, luckily that was not the case. See if we make it past without being hit here. To be here is to be fast. Ooh, close. I was a little slow in the beginning, but luckily I was quick enough that the bullets didn't catch up to me. All right, we good. We're past Latopolis on first run of the day. Let's go. Somebody's about to make a lot of points. Looks like some kind of power room. A current lead here. Promising. Woo! Let's go. Ah, that feels good considering yesterday took forever to get a run going. Let me just finish the prediction here. We'll start another one when I get to playing song. Okay, all healed up. Tarmac. If I override it, I can get data on the surrounding area. Get robbed again. Rip. Who was it that bet a lot of points on yes? Like Wherever you are, you just made a lot it. of points. Should be able to reach that tall neck easily enough. Oh, it's budgie? Nice. You got 350k points. Jesus. That's a lot of dough. <laughs> I really wish there was a leaderboard for points on Twitch, or that Twitch would make the API for the points public, so you could make like a leaderboard of it. That'd be so nice. Taking a bit of an alternative route here to town, to avoid all the blight that is around it. Or not town, sorry, uh, plane zone. If I don't get Gaia up and running, it'll be like this everywhere. Then as long as I walk in a straight line into Plainshong, I should not be hit by the blights. 
in theory. As long as you're straight down the middle of the road, you should not be hit. Because that's how it worked in practice, and it seems to still work. <laughs> Ready for flex. How many points are you down to now? Because you also lost 250k yesterday, didn't you? So, then, when you're ready, meeting. Let's do it. Went from 900k to 44. Oh, jeez. Jesus. Even people betting on cryptocurrency would call that a bad day. Alright, while we wait for Sonval, we can enjoy the chores, and I'll start another prediction for you guys. There you go, you got another five minutes to put your points up. Will this run get past the cold route? you ever wonder why I restart from save in the speedrun in Plainsong? This is why. Because then you don't have to wait for someone more. But no damage runs? Well, you're not allowed to um, <laughs> restart from save. So we still have to leave plain song here without touching blights. The same thing as before. Just keep to straight down the middle of the road. As long as we do that, we should not get hit by the blight. It's always funny in a regular playthrough. You'd never worry about the blight, but in a no damage run, you really have to worry about it. So in case you're wondering, you don't actually have to follow Val and So here. You can take your own path to Tau. Well, I've, I don't know what the if there are official no-hit rules out there, but I've just made my own rules based on what I consider, you know, fair. <laughs> in, in Zero Dawn, I did actually allow myself to restart from save in a few places, but that was because otherwise the no-damage run would have been borderline impossible had I not allowed those restart from saves. This trail is the path of the land. But in Forbidden West, there's no reason to do that, so therefore I just straight up said no restart from Zeke. Made my own rules and still fail. Well, I feel like that builds integrity. Be I don't know if you agree, but... Oh well. <laughs> I'm gonna get off my mound early here because there's a lot of acid on the ground and it's easier to make sure I don't touch it if I'm on foot. Oh, what's left of it? So many dead. They will be more when the time is right. For now. Even something as simple as touching acid can just end the, the run. Cave. No ramp damage runs are so dramatic. May the land gods forgive our trespass. What's that ahead? Like a Wait, did you just go all in again, 34? Jesus. <laughs> hey, Lloyd. Going somewhere? Find the core of this place. I respect it. So Alright, leave blasters here. Let's Machines. see what we can do. Not like any you've seen before. Machines in here. We'll have to take them out. Oh, well, right you behind walked you. in front of me. Chill to the core. We can shatter it! Captain the vault. Not sure where he is. I assume Val. Yeah, Val is fighting him. He's coming, so let's head over here. Get 
just mop I'm ready in just in case. There we go. Oh, I didn't even get stunned. Jesus. The good thing about this fight is you have so much space to work with. A lot more than you actually realize, probably. But you, the room is so big, you get a lot of space to just keep a distance to the lead lashes and take them out. Then they aren't just made here. They're being repaired too. And the spirit. Those cables. So it's a fight as long as you keep a safe distance. There's no real threat of being hit there. They're like an infection. That thing I said. It wants us dead. It takes over places like these and makes killer machines. It's called Hephaestus. Even the mountain is rotted to the roots. Taken over facilities before to build deadly machines. Did anybody ever do the original God of War and no damage? Or no hit? I remember somebody tried, but I don't know if it actually got pulled off. <laughs> tea time, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There should be a All right, so this strat is very similar to the speedrun strat. Just with a little extra precaution. And obviously without the low health bonus. holograms on it they look like machines there must be overrides knowledge on how to tame machines it looks like Hephaestus has been upgrading the security grid on the cauldrons All the data's been corrupted not sure I can do much about that right now and my focus doesn't recognize some of these what is SL1 machines I haven't seen and give me got a war got what you need yes let's press on then Level one. Oh, so no upgrades at all and default down. Damn, nice. So basically, like low percent. I'm not too familiar with no damage stuff. I guess I'm just doing my own thing. Was that the spirit, Minerva? I don't actually know how the no damage or no hit community even works. Do you submit your runs somewhere? Like, should I have submitted my Forbidden West? Run? Oh, Cyrodon runs. What exactly? To some place. Seen anything like it before? 
Like, I actually don't know how that community operates. If there's like a set rule set or stuff like that. What you know, happened? I've just made my own rules and, here. you know, just kind of followed them and done my runs. Out. I don't actually know if I'll there's something ahead. official there's a way to get us in. that is done you sure we in come that community. Well, yeah, Minerva could be dangerous. Let me make sure it's safe. Okay. We'll be right here if you need us. Yeah, yeah, I just don't know. Is there like a website of confirmed no damage runs? That would be cool if somebody had that, but maybe that doesn't exist. Okay. <laughs> it would be cool if you could go to a website and see like what no damage runs have been completed by who and all that. Kind of like speedrun.com, but like for no damage, no hit runs. I don't. I guess that's not a thing, but it would be cool to see someone make something like that. I'm outside. I need to find a way back into the facility. I know someone is working on a new... similar thing to speedrun.com, but for like high scores in video games. Oh, I'm close. Which is cool. If I can get Minerva to cooperate, I can Cool to see something down. like that for no damage. Finally bring her back. And we can start fixing the blight, the storms. And maybe she can help me figure out who those strangers in the proving lab were. Why did they have a clone of Elizabeth? Why did they want it back up? Aha. Uh -huh. Another shaft. Okay, now I've got to find a way to plug into this place. Huh? Alert. System core penetrated. I have established a network between your focuses, allowing you to communicate when apart. Good. So what was this place? A regional control center, where Zero Dawn progeny would have overseen... So this was supposed to be... the lab? That was its intended purpose. Some of the machine data you recovered from the repair bay below us appears to be corrupted. Accessing the terminal in this room will show you how to repair and complete the override. I'll take a look. Huh. Looks like I need data from machine parts to fix the corrupted override. My initialization... Okay. Maybe it's time to talk to Gaia. I'll leave you to it. Oh, hey, Aaron. Hi. All you... Yeah. Maybe a while... Yeah. Do you know... Yeah, prong. The... 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 Okay. The... The... Yes. Uh, they, they didn't... Wait. Yeah. Maybe ah, I yeah. picked the same yeah. option I brain farted there. Good thing it's not a speedrun, so time doesn't matter. <laughs> I was just reading chat while I was spamming through the text and forgot to move my thumb. Okay, <laughs> Ether, beside where we get. I think I'm just one stream though I should put should you you can I will assume is there a is um she had do you live up absent in her in you you think well I, I have the other ball whoa uh can you okay I need to bring Poseidon <laughs> back for Gaia oh well. extra bad luck for me by the west exit a campfire and I could head back see. east first Check on how Plain Song's doing after the attack. Or I could also look around here some more. Are you sure? Yes. I think it'll be better this way. The Tanoth clan lands. Somewhere out there's three of Gaia's subfunctions. And who knows and what then else. We're gonna be off to Las Vegas, because we do Poseidon first in the no damage run. So we can build up some valor for um, bulwark. <laughs>
compared to the speedrun where we just go straight to Bulwark. Where we actually do Poseidon last. Quickly change the skill here, as we remember, because we need power shots at level 3. Or whenever we get to the Tremor Tusk. Full screen on the TV, nice. Look, Mom, I'm on TV. <laughs> This campfire here because we're going to be using that in a little bit and then the other campfire up here that we normally get behind the hive you watch on tv too nice a good amount of people say they actually watch like twitch on tv that's cool Do you guys use like a console to do that or Chromecast or is there, I guess there probably is a smart TV app for it as well. Like how do you get the stream on TV? I guess you could also just do through HDMI on the PC. <clears throat> Computer to your TV? Yeah. Chromecast. Cool. I remember I tried, I'm not sure if it's still the case, it was like probably five years ago at this point, I tried the Twitch app on my TV, and it was horrible. <laughs> I don't know if it's better, but to be fair, I feel like all the smart TV apps are like terrible. This must be the ruins That's of why, I, like, for my TV that I have in my bedroom, I just have my PS4 hooked up to it. Just because the apps for like Netflix and Viaplay and all that stuff is so much better. Uh, on console than they are on the actual smart TV. Gaia said this is where I'd find Poseidon, but the ruins out here are exposed to the elements. A lot of them are buried in the sand. So maybe Poseidon is underground. If that's true, I might be able to find a way down through one of these structures. Water's pouring out of but the like, my PS4 at this point is just a Netflix Sounds box. <laughs> or buy a play box. Someone's been through here. Looks like there's something behind that tarp. I was to drag more over effort than you because some hello speed. Yeah. Well, what's the uh the mark you would yeah. Samsung fridge, nice. Well you said that with a hammer. What is it? She you got hey, more of those. You're down. Come on. Uh, I mean, I guess that would be cool if, like, you're in the middle of cooking or baking or something in the kitchen. Just throw something on the fridge. That being said, though, I am never going to pay that much for a fridge. As I have seen the prices of those, I guess you call them smart fridges. And my goodness, I will never pay that much for a fridge. <laughs> that just doesn't seem worth it. Got the compressed air capsule. According to Moreland, the hurt should be some. Yeah, exactly. Just have a bring something to the kitchen you can watch on. But like I said, if you do actually have those things, I guess it would be convenient to do it that way. <laughs> All right. So normally, to get the parts for the diving mask, you have to go kill the herd. But in the no damage run here, it's much safer to just go kill something else or kill a bell bag in the long way lake somewhere else. Because in the herd, there's quite a lot of machines.
The Ravager. The Ravager doesn't care. Or doesn't care enough to check what happened. Part for the bell back, and then we'll head over here for the long neck. We still have a TV in the kitchen. Oh, some do. I personally don't. I usually, if I want to watch something while I'm in the kitchen, I usually just bring my laptop and place it on like the table I don't use. But I also only have a TV in my bedroom at the moment. If ever I watch something in my uh, living room, I'm just watching it on my PC. Aloy, it appears that you are close to a cauldron. There may be more machine overrides you could acquire from its core. I will mark its location in your focus. Because the parts you need for the diving mask, just to finish up that top, you can get from any long lake and bellow bag, as long as the... You have been to Las Vegas first to activate the quest. And in order to get the long leg part, luckily the Talana quest here is guaranteed to spawn a long leg. So in the no damage run we actually get to see Talana. You see that Milo? You have to wait for an opening. Care to join the hunt? I and then two Lee Blashers are gonna spawn, but they'll focus on Talana. There it goes. So we can just use the high ground on it. Should jump down at some point, but he's just staying up there. Nicely done. Likewise. Come over here. There we go. Now we loot the long leg, and we have all the parts, so we can just leave Talana hanging. Guys, there's no point in finishing her quest because <laughs> that's not important to this run. And would also just put us at more risk of getting hit. What can I? I've got. I think. I won't quit for it. Oh, not weapon upgrade. Uh, diving mask. There we go. Wow, oh, if it were something. Assume so. It's something. I think it. Well, like we. But some. What image? Tiny. At first, then it was wait. At all. Okay, time to see if this thing works. Oh, I'm already reloaded this. All right, set down into Las Vegas. Talana abandoned, indeed. Well, she abandoned me on my first playthrough because she was blocked out and never showed up in Baron Light. <laughs> so who's really abandoning who here? I guess we both are. Besides the point. Looks like a way out. The hiding's down here somewhere. Gotta find where it's hiding. Why can you not do a spioni run? I thought you said you couldn't. I have never said that. I mean, I haven't tried, so I don't know for sure. But I don't think there's anything in the main quest that could not be done to spear on me. Granted, some of it would be extremely tedious and arguably hard to do, but pretty sure everything can be done to spear on me. 
Latopolis? Yeah, I mean, to be fair, Latopolis, you can do it purely Spioni, but like everything you fight and kill can be done Spioni. Granted, yeah, you can do it like Zero Dawn, where we literally only use the spear. But, uh, you could just change the rules and. I got a little closer than it should have been. Um. Uh, what's it called? Like, you can't just say it, like, make it so that only everything you kill and damage has to be with the spear. And the rings are not really an enemy, so I think that would be fine. Okay, let's see if that helped. But, I don't know. I haven't tried, so I wouldn't know. But I definitely want to give it a shot at some point. There. And then I guess we'll figure it out. Whether or not it's possible. According to the map, the maintenance station should be at the south end of the dome. I'm not too worried about the machines here underwater, can you because you can actually throw uh, smoke bombs here. So even if you do get spotted, you can throw a smoke bomb underwater. Even though that doesn't make a lot of sense, it is good. <laughs> but obviously the bar before the first... <laughs> before I got in the first hole, uh, shouldn't have been as close as it was, but... Didn't hit me, so we're fine. Cool route might be an issue. Mm, there's nothing in the cold, right? You can just let all the NPCs kill the machines. It takes forever, but it, you can do that. If you are just being I idle during the cold, then the NPCs will eventually kill all the machines. Collapse. Somehow he didn't spot me. Didn't even have to throw a smoke bomb for that one. <laughs> stealth outfit is just OP, I, I guess. A stealth outfit also works on the water. Yeah, Ritz defense in Zero Dawn was also done mainly being idle. Be a console in here. That did it. <laughs> okay. Now I can deal with that machine guarding the door on the other end of the dome. And once I get past it, I can get to what's waiting on the other side of the door. I, I guess the purge didn't get rid of all of the water. Just so you can join the cool red waves. I don't know. We'll worry about it when we get to Spioni. Like I said, once I'm done with the no damage challenge, then I want to revisit the Platinum Trophy speedrun. To do uh, a run with a lot of the new strats that uh, beat up found. I'm intentionally moving quick here, because that makes it less likely the machines spot me here. Because if you actually get spotted here, they can shoot at you while you fight the Tide Ripper. So that's why I want to get past the section quick. Side Ripper is just like the speedrun strat. Because the speedrun strat is pretty good. Down it goes. <laughs> just freeze him, chain burst, and finish him off with an arrow if I need to. Poseidon should be somewhere beyond this door. Time to bring it home. So Las Vegas is very easy to do without taking damage. Okay. 
Poseidon should be hiding in some kind of processor. I need to find a console to gain access to it. There. I should be able to use that console. I'm here to bring you home, Poseidon. To Gaia. Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master Override activated. Restoring Poseidon's subordinate function to original code. Okay. Gotta bring this back to Gaia. That would make it too easy. If you were allowed to use Resonator Blast. Looks like taking Poseidon triggered a restart of the city's power system. Because Resonator Blast actually do quite a lot of damage. Morland and crew must have headed back up top. Probably the numbers they could carry, I bet. When it says Spioni, it should be Spioni. Time? It doesn't really matter. Time is not a big issue. No, the speed only run is not a speed run. So how long it takes is irrelevant. Do 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 do. It's time for a ride up the elevator. Oh, must have built this before the place flooded. Nice to work. Be nice not to have to climb back up. Oh yeah, the soundtrack is amazing. And as I would say, given some of the Game of the Year awards I've seen being handed out from various sites and people, the soundtrack for Forbidden West is criminally underrated, apparently. Whatever she did... Up the whole if there we go, Las Vegas done, and now back to base. Uh, didn't P Dub do a trap zone news run? Pretty sure he did. Yeah, like this? Are you sure that's what the data says? I'm telling you. Oh, yeah, he did it on Starry, but he did do a trap zone, yeah. I mean, granted, I'm pretty sure you could probably do that on Ultra Hot as well, which is more back, difficult. When you're and we'll take a lot more bombs. <laughs> Afterwards, I must discuss an important matter with you. Zamelib. I'm not saying Forbidden West should necessarily have won Soundtrack of the Year, but the fact that it wasn't even nominated is insane. There's you red. Let's go. Look. On to beta we go. No running run, lol. Is it a run then? Isn't it a walk? We're obviously more Zenus than we know about. Can't believe you fought one of them. Almost didn't make it. Now that would be tedious without adding anything special to whatever the rebels did. The playthrough. It took down her <laughs> shield. But why was she here? I can access her last communication file, but I'll use my focus to scan the battlefield, too. What about that crazy weapon the Zenith had? What? It looks like she can make it come and go at will, but it's gone now. Yeah. Well, go do your thing. I'll wait the here. The Spectre had instructions to assist recovery of the asset. I wonder what this asset is. Ah, 
Ah, uh, uh, that weapon's still hot. I need to know how it worked. But I'll have to check on it once it's cooled off. An Oseram with a focus. Looks like he was sending data on the weapons somewhere else. Looks like the rebels camped here for a while. Are they watching this area? All right. I think I have an idea what happened here. I better get back to Erend. Uh, let's skip this out. I'm ready. Astral, that would be tedious for some. Old world ruin. Uh, Astral actually made a route for 100 percent without fast traveling for zero dawn. Yeah, from the proven. Curious to see how much slower that will be. So maybe they were after Eluthia. I definitely need to do that at some point. So it sent the distress. Will we get back to zero dawn? Maybe. So exploring another far zenith ruin. At least this one doesn't seem to have giant killer machines. Or anything you can blow up. This place is huge. All right. Some kind of storage room, maybe. Maybe the asset is in here somewhere. If it is, somehow the Zenith couldn't find it. Let's look around. So, um, placing the traps before triggering this, that just makes it. sure that I don't have to be close to the traps when they explode. Well, the control console to yeah, minimize yeah. the risk. Access to storage units. units. Focus. Can it tell us if the asset is in one of them? Well, let's find out. Two hundred and thirty-six contained. I should prepare before the specter gets here. I can't let it get through to me. Even if he said were to survive these traps, I can stand at a safe distance to finish him off. Here it comes. There. He's dead. There. Are you okay, Aloy? Yeah, I'm heading up top. Stay down here with the clone for now. Got sure it. I don't touch I'll any of that gold. The clear. And then for the next one. Gotta get back up top and deal with that other specter. I just hope Aaron stays in cover. Gonna do a little bit of a rope caster action on the second crop uh corruptor. Spectre, I mean. Spectre is a little bit more risky. Errand. Yeah, the Spectre's stuck at seals oh, and it's got as me pinned down. Do the strat Hang the tight. way it's I'm supposed to go. It should be Just fine. Hurry. We'll see how it goes. Oh, that doesn't sound good. I gotta get to Errand. Errand, I'm here. Watch out. That thing's shooting down the center. Stay put. I'll see what I can do. A heavy weapon. I could use it against the Spectre. Oh, Spectre's not budging from that spot. I might be able to sneak up on it if I stay out of its line of fire. It's got some kind of shield up. Alright, we got him tied down. Shield's down! Shield's not it's going away. So I guess we're planning the bombs here. And 
I'm getting far enough away, so any explosion will not hit me. And also, should it not kill him... That I'm far enough away that I can dodge. So we got him. If I can figure out how that thing works. So we good. This won't be so invincible after all. Maybe yesterday was really just really bad luck. I, need to get the weapon I think it was, yeah. <laughs> if we can replicate it, maybe we'll have a way to defeat the Zenus. I should check on the clone too. Varl, where's our guest? Welcome back. I don't Welcome think the embassy is off. normally gonna be that hot. Yesterday might just have been a bit of a fluke, but uh, I won't. don't want to think too much about yesterday. Right now, I just wanna make the most of this run. I have a good feeling about it. Aloy, I still just Glad need to take it back. one step at a time. So about you, but get that. Yes, yeah, some sort of okay. now. Not not the same you didn't i tell you the i'm i, I spit also back but when i did i thought but i don't i think that are so how you know how long how did well before god what guy oh. to us you, you were supposed to come here they're good then what did we're never hey you're here i didn't get to you and okay how'd it go her hmm. so i guess we won't be made all right and now off to the bulwark Off to the bulwark we go. But yeah, could be that yesterday was just a lot of bad luck. Who knows? <clears throat> At least we got that one really good run yesterday. I'm just hoping we can top it today. Getting close to Ether's location. The guy said it would be in some kind of physical processor. Hey, Floyd. How are you doing? An ancient ruin. Turned into a Tanakh stronghold? Could Ether be inside? Time to say hello to Dega and her amazing hair. The old pain. What are you? The war. Yeah, he's coming. Not anything. Is that. Yeah. Alright. He's in calm. The chief is inside. I'm ready. Good. I'll do what you better. You will speak. And then onwards to the bulwark. Then we got full valor, so we don't have to worry about that. Good. Because we need that full power shot valor <coughs> for the trauma tusk. Come. Let us. If I'm gonna get ether, guess I'll have to play along with Takaro. I better meet up with Marshal Catalo at Stonecrest. I'll be faster if I ride a machine. <laughs> you see that guy as an elementary school teacher? <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I have a. I feel like it's likely there's gonna be some aerial combat potential in a DLC. 
Given the fact they showed Aloy flying around with the Actaporus around, I feel like uh, flying combat could be a thing. I think also that might be one of the reasons why it's gonna be PS5 only. Is because I don't think you could pull that off on PS4 hardware. Console is just too outdated to be able to do that and have the game look as good as it does at the same time. Ground's getting steeper, air's getting cold. Should be getting close to Stonecrest. Down to Katala we go. This must be Stonecrest. Katala should be waiting for me. But we should look around first. Where's Katalo? What's he looking at? Is the sky moving some others that we should not order all the not so the bulk so into will either night never it? The gym teacher a cup. Well, on me. <laughs> I mean, given the fact that he's in charge of the van vanguard, he's pretty much as a police chief, isn't he? Come on. To knock the respect of blade and the strength of the fighter who wields it. Is this a specific quest or two? Possibly. Well, lucky for us, we're both good fighters, but. I think you're right about that, because they, they would need to change all the other machines so to make that work, too. Because most of the machines don't have attacks that fire upwards. Because there, you know, you're not supposed to fire, fight them while you are higher than them. long ago. If you want a history lesson, talk to the chaplains. When you left the Grove, how did you know I'd agree to help Akaro? Hacking away at that machine. Got them, or sneak around. Never follow. Stay sharp. It's too quiet around here. Hurry it up. I'm carving as fast as I can. Stay calm. Still thought fit hey. OP. Those rebels were gathering machine parts, maybe to make more overrides. And Takote won't do anything? Why would he, when he has the bulwark? I grew up behind the wall. It's easy to have a false sense of safety there. More rebels in the clearing. Take the lead. Is he actually gonna see me? No. Very good. He's a little closer than I thought he would be. Ah, uh, we're good. We're out of sight. They don't spot Let's me. Move. They can't shoot me. Back at Stonecrest, you said the rebels have been moving. In case you ever wonder why I used to self outfit for this challenge run. Symbol is that you can't shoot what you can't see. Not for the sake <laughs> of the rest of the clan. I would welcome that day. To see his <laughs> would work at a Starbucks or something. <laughs> Lol. Here it is. <laughs> the bulwark. Let me know when you are ready, and I will announce us.
last marshal. Honor and strength. <laughs> yeah, you just have to be good. But luckily NPCs are not good, so we don't have to worry about that. <laughs> welcome. An outlander and a main marshal. That well might not be as strong as Dakota thinks it is. I need to get down to the base of it and check it out. Nice move! Good day. The Outlander is Beaten already, Outlander. Would Aloy just be so big then? Just you wait. I need to get a little distance from the wall in order to scan it properly. Just what I thought. There's something metal in there. Oh, that rock is under yeah, the scan. Thanks, well, good luck. Appreciate it. I might be able to climb up on the left side of the wall. Near that waterfall. This looks promising. Power core. I'll bet if I blew it up. But how? Well, can't do anything else here. Better go find Catalo. <laughs> All right, Germans this time. The rebels might have made camp northeast of here. And then what? The two of us go up against all of them? Pretty much, yeah. Oh, you may lack sense, but you don't lack courage. So, um, back there with Dakota? It seemed like there's bad blood between you two. There is. If we make it through this plan of yours, perhaps I'll tell you. Let's drink the overdraw potion oh, here. Let's yeah. smoke bomb readies in case. It's some distance away from the trauma disc. Activate power shots. Try to get a nice clean shot right in the eye. And then get over behind cover. Let's teach them respect. That miss. What? what? I'm not kidding. There we go. Can you freeze it? What's the third game? Standing on top of the other guy. Now I just need to take out the soldiers. There, and now we just got the guy on the tower left. Bad shooting on the trimmers, but you know, I'm staying at a safe. Safe distance, making sure he doesn't have a clear shot on us. Prevents him from hitting us. And there we go. Got them all. Nice and easy. And that's the bulwark. I guess it must, uh, when I should blind fire that the tremor tusk, I just needed one more hit on him. Here it is. I guess when I did that, I must have you hit it like a tree that I didn't see. You need a miracle. Coming right up. 
But you know, never left cover, so okay. chances of him hitting me was like Gotta very slim. Away some rocks, so I can expect working. Things exploding. And it was just one shot I needed to finish him off, so you know. Maybe I should nothing to be concerned about. Right. And find this chaplain, Gara. Might also be a good idea to resupply before I head back out. <laughs> Now to the greenhouse. So far so good on this run. And let's not forget, this is still the first run of the day. Because uh, we didn't get screwed in the RNG of the early game. <laughs> Coordinates that Gaia gave me for Demeter are close. Beginning of a greenhouse can be a little tricky here. I've got to throw the smoke bomb correctly. And only slide once before throwing it. There's lights in the I need to get past these hostiles and into the woods. Right, perfect execution, so we're good. like some sort of old office complex. But yeah, messing up the smoke bomb there gives you a chance to be hit by an arrow. As long as you just slide once, get behind the car, throw the smoke bomb, you should be good. A metal flower. Demeter should be right beyond that door. But those vines are blocking the way. No way out. <sighs> Great. Whoever they are, they want me dead. I better be careful. There. And overdraw potion. Killed him. Wait for that guy to move out of the way. Guy down here. Very nice. These people would have talked to me instead of trying to kill me. It's the Quinn done. Oh, now I need to find we'll see more of the Quinn when we get to Phoebes, I guess. <laughs> I'll have to deal with more of them there. That door looks promising. I'm looking. I believe oh, remember when I said I wasn't going to use uh, shock bombs anymore? I forgot. Yeah, I'm sure. actually, I actually need them for Phoebes. Okay. Just need to remember to add go. them back to the Quake menu. Uh, I still have them on me, just not in the Quake menu. The for Phoebes. Have shown us the way. Come on, let's go. You want me to come? I just remember that. You? It took both of us to open up hey, that tunnel, didn't it? How are you doing? Oh, How is you? Amazing. 
According to the map, there should be another exit further in. I can't believe you actually Just stay close. Lead the way. Oh, fire gleam. Better stand back. Okay. Well, that was loud. Through here. According to the map, the exit should be this way. <laughs> yeah, you're just in time for all the ladders. Everybody's favorite part of the no damage run. Me actually using ladders. <laughs> Fight them or try to sneak past <laughs> your call. <laughs> Event. I think I can pull it open. Got it. I'm right behind you. Where are you going? I think I can move these things. There we go. Maybe we can get through huh. the hatch on the ground. There's some we'll space. This should help. The There's consoles up here too. But no way to get to them. You stay put. I'll see what I can find. There we go. That looks like some sort of conveyor. You think you can move it over to me? Yeah. If you can hop on top of it, I can get you to those consoles. Yo, Scar, thanks for the raid. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hold it there. Um, me just... hope you had a good stream. I jumped on what were you up to? And thanks for the good luck, appreciate it. Um, Aloy, would... Hold on. Would you mind warning me next time you decide to, uh, uh blow up a wall? I'll, uh, try. It's a more Witcher. Currently soaked into that game, fair. Is it your first time playing, That's or... Good. Are you replaying it because of the... Next gen patch. I'm at the console. Wait, there's data here. A, a lot, but it's blocked. Something's restricting access. If I can't get past it, my mission here is doomed. Alva, I'll help if I can, okay? But first, we have to get out. This is your first time tried it before, right. but. We need to open the so hatch. dead to combat and dropped it early. Let's Fair. <laughs> okay. I'm unlocking. When I played Witcher um, three, I only played Witcher three. I also really didn't like the there combat. I found the energy inside. cell. I mean, I was probably then pretty bad at it in hindsight, but I also just generally didn't like okay. it. Okay, I'm on it. But I really liked the story and the world, so I kept playing it anyway and just put it on the easiest difficulty, just to, you know, easily get through all the combat. <laughs> It's one of the few games where I played it like this. But the characters, world, and story was just so interesting that I... You can reach me now. That I still wanted to get way. through it like that. Even though I didn't care much for the gameplay. I'm sure, uh, obviously, others are into it. It was just... I just didn't jive okay. with it. It just didn't jive with me, I guess. We operate both consoles simultaneously to open the hatch. I'll get to the other console. You Ready stay here. We need to keep moving. Test station Ivy can't be far off. Another maze. Yeah, I've been thinking about maybe uh, giving the Witcher books a go. It's 
especially because I, I actually like the TV show from what I've seen so far in the first two seasons. But obviously I've heard a lot of people complain that the, they're not really following the story of the books or whatever. Or they're bad adaptations. So at some point I'll definitely check out the books. Probably just audiobooks of them. Just to see what all the fuss is about. But uh, since I haven't read the books, okay. I can't really say if the show is Let's good or bad in that sense. It's just, from what I've seen in the show, I like it. So, but, uh, yeah. That complex should be test station Ivy. All right, let's uh, let's kill this bat. Yeah. Whoa! It's one of those machines. It can turn invisible. We're gonna have to take it out to get into the test station. You with me? Yes. And hit it in the butt. That was amazing. Uh, terrifying, but amazing. Well, you helped. We should be able to get into Test Station Ivy now. Nice little butt kill on the back. Be some data here on the but I really like Witcher 3, the world, the lore, the this characters. Like, normally when I play games, I usually mainly do it for the gameplay. Like, I like good stories and stuff, but like, if a game doesn't have good gameplay, I usually don't care too much. But Witcher is one of the few games where I made an exception to that. I mean, from the criticisms I've heard about the TV show to the books, it doesn't sound that bad from what people are saying. Like, the main complaint I keep hearing about between the books and the TV shows is just that they dropped a few storylines for a few characters, but like, you can never do a one-for-one -one TV or book-to-TV show, because a book can just have so much more information. So I don't, I, I mean, I haven't read the book, so I don't know how important it is, but that just, you know, you know, I haven't heard a good reason why the books is necessarily better, but I've just seen so many people being up in arms about the books and the TV show for The Witcher. But like I said, I like The Witcher, uh, TV show. I think it's pretty good. I'm probably not going to watch it past season three, because... Henry Cavill is <laughs> probably one of the big reasons why I like it, and it's gonna feel weird if he's not the one, but uh, I guess we'll see whenever season four comes out, but uh, but I have a feeling if he's actually leaving, that the show could potentially take a big dip. Looks like it's been flooded for a while. In here. We'll have to climb up. Right behind you! Yo, uh, sexy magic face, thank you so much for a year. Really appreciate it. Thank you for supporting for a whole year. That's a long time. It means a lot, and I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much. Oh, by the way, the video you posted on Discord was uh, really cool. <laughs> it's fun to see like how some of those magic tricks actually work. Oh yeah, I don't have to wait for dialogue here because we already waited for it. Yeah, I think so too. Now, like, the show is good and all, it's just as Cavill as does such a great job as Carol that it'll be hard for me to see somebody else as that character. But we better make haste. If, uh, you know After what I mean. encountered barbarians, our lieutenant called for reinforcements. I could be here any time. Right. Let's hope this new module works. Now it's blooming. Let's see if the software works. Fine. Door's so clear now. The data but yeah, I don't know. I've just heard so many people complain about the Witcher show that I'm just. It's time to go home. And the main reason always is like the books are better or whatever, or they are disrespecting the books. But I. I've tried to look into why that is, but, you know, without having reading the books, it's hard to understand. Because clearly when so many people are complaining about it, my, my thinking is like, surely something must be wrong, right? But I just can't find a really good reason in the complaints as to why 
it's that bad. So that's why I'm a bit confused about it. But uh, I'll probably check out the books at some point, read or listen to the mass audiobooks. And then maybe I'll understand it, but until then, oh well. Yeah, him doing the 40k stuff is going to be pretty exciting. I'm just curious to see which part of 40k lore he's going to base the thing on, but just because, like, 40k has so many different things you could base, at, you know, like, you can pretty much do any story you want in 40k. So it's like, just, like, where is he going to, you know, do it? Or, like, which part of the lore is he going to base his story on? It's gonna be downstairs. interesting to see. Beta has something you need to hear. Okay. I'll be right down. The new Witcher show Tank Hot. I, I didn't even know they were making a sideshow to the main show. Got it. Yeah, the Blood Origins, I think it's called. And I didn't even hear about it until people complained about it. <laughs> or articles also came out uh <clears throat> about it uh tanking. So uh, yeah. You saw the trailer and it looked bad. I mean, I, would, I guess I have to look into it. It's just... I haven't thought about it, I guess. But uh, that show came out of nowhere. I didn't even know they were doing like an origin type show. Outlander. Chief Akaro and Marshall Kota and also, I forgot to change skill here as well. Gotta get the trapper skill ready. I'll await you within. And then we need this one ready. The cool route should be starting soon. Once it's done, I'll be able to access the chamber below Hikaro's throne. And ether. Outlander, the chief awaits you in the arena, past the throne. This must lead to the arena. Oh yeah, I'll I'll probably just watch an episode of an episode or two, see if I like it of the Blood it's Origins thing, make place. up my own mind. Turned into a fighting ring. Look, hey, look. yeah, but so they up so could talk. They're on through the free set, but if she will, you will hope you make that's good. There's they also made that Witcher anime thing on Netflix. That was like a movie, right? I never watched that either, but that's also just I don't know what it is, I just can't get into anime. It's just the way anime is, I guess, animated and presented. It's just something about it that throws me off. Not just that it's like animated, like I can watch animated stuff, no issue. It's just the specific style anime usually goes for. I don't know, it just... It's just something about it that turns me off, I guess. I, I wish I could describe it better. Yeah, I watched the cyberpunk anime. I watched like the first four episodes of it and I just couldn't get into it. We are not alone in this fight. But everybody seems to like it, so. Hold so fair enough. Alright, cold road time here. Gotta shoot off the guns of the Ravager. Because the guns of the Ravager is the only thing that can actually damage me up here. Spawn once to kill one more machine, I think. Yep. And there we go, all the guns off the Ravagers, so now none of the other machines can actually hit me. Now we just need to kill them. Close, right? Now. Here's this trap on some of these guys. Yeah, I get hit, hit by the yell there from the close strata. It doesn't do any damage, so it doesn't count. This is 
just a stun attack. No attacks that can actually hit me. Or damage me, I guess, would be the proper term. As long as my health, as the rules are, as long as my health stays at 700, we're good. Has to take actual damage for the run to end. Right here, I'm just gonna make sure my weapons are ready for the snake. So we have triple shot ready, we have bolt blaster ready, and we have six arrows <clears throat> ready for um, for the snake. Because as soon as I kill the final enemy here, the snake, I'm gonna go thrown into the snake fight. So gotta make sure our weapons are ready for it. just running around in the back. The Ravagers get really confused in this section when you take away their guns, so that's why he's running around like that. <laughs> like the AI just gets really weird, as you can see. Some of the Ravagers might just start attacking, but sometimes they just run around confused like this. fire on him so he should stand still from him. No. Might have to just use an irregular arrow to finish him. Come on, die already. Potion. So goddamn unlucky. Okay. <sighs> Fuck you, game. I fucking hate you. It's the worst. Arguably the worst time that could possibly have happened. Fuck's sake. For those who don't know, let me explain it since we have time. When you use the bow blaster, see that last stat line there at the bottom? 4% chance of instant shock. Even if you freeze a machine, that still has a 4% chance of happening. It's the dumbest thing in this entire game. And I wish you could turn it off. But all legendary weapons has like some stupid instant stat. And it's dumb as hell. Because like you can spend a lot of time getting a machine to a certain oh, elemental state, like freezing him. And then it's just taken away by some stupid RNG. And obviously there it made it, because I can't reload the bolt blaster, it takes too long. So I just had to like... You know, played cool and just below. fucking get behind cover. I didn't hope I could like hit him with arrows to kill him. What was this place? All status is I equal. There. <sighs> Come on, Aether. But oh well, we made it past the cool rip. So congrats on the winners in the prediction. 
The believers are eating good today, especially compared to yesterday. See you later, Scar. Got it. Now to get this back to Gaia. <sighs> but yeah, that was just. I mean, granted, it could be worse if it happens on Tilda, but I don't even want to think about that. I'm glad it happened on the snake, okay? The the but if if that four percent chance happens on Tilda, like runs just dead. <laughs> I'm screwed if that happens. Here. Honor and strength. But luckily, we got it on the snake, so surely it won't happen again, statistically. <laughs> Oh well, done with all the subordinate functions. That was scary. That was really scary. Can you reload Bolt Blast and then freeze her again? I'm that takes a long to... time. And, I see and reloading the wool blaster, like, she's just gonna slap you. <laughs> you know, while you're reloading, because it takes forever to reload. But she's shot, right? She is, but as soon as you freeze her, she's no longer shocked. You know, the elemental statuses go away once you um, apply a new one. Aloy, I hear you're heading to the coast. If you need to resupply en route, I suggest stopping in Falls Edge. It's a lowland clan village southwest. Oh, yeah, you could reload while the she's shot, I guess. Got it. True. Thanks for the advice. Still need to tie her down again. But shooting her with freeze removes the tie down as well. There's a lot of things. I'll worry about it when we get to it. Anyway, we should start another prediction. Since, uh. Uh, since we got past cohort. This is, uh. Another prediction, and I guess final prediction for this particular run. You guys got five minutes. Is this the run? Will this run get to the end? <clears throat> but oh well, we survived the snake, so that's fine. Let's move on, focus on the next thing, which is the big bad thunder draw. Just noticed I forgot to change outfit. Need this outfit for the Thunder Joe. But yeah, Snake was scary, but oh well. We survived it. Where's the slaughter spine? Oh. It's part of the scripted event. It just loaded in <laughs> very late. She's not heard me curse before, yet. So you're telling me your wife has never watched the stream? <laughs> uh, I mean, of course, this is a Christian channel. I, I would never curse. Taking a boat. That is beyond me. <laughs> this is a good Christian channel. We don't curse here. Where are the They're on landfall, I guess. I better go find it. Just waiting for somebody to type exclamation point rage in the chat. <laughs> if Seth was here, that's what he would do. But Seth is still on vacation. Or holiday or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the rage is actually almost at a thousand years. 
Damn. The scary part about it, I think that Rage Clip is almost three years old at this point. So long ago. Uh, have I matured since then? I definitely feel like I've not had a rage similar to that since then. Yes. But the story behind that clip, you gotta remember, that was the 12th, no, 12th or 11th run in a row that had died to rich defense. On good pace. Like 12 or 11 runs in a row died to rich defense. In the span of like a week. What kind of machine has you tough? Yeah. Then, then so that's why I got so pissed when that happened. And if you look at the splits, you can also tell it's like on good pace as well. Okay. Off to the big pyramid to fight the Thunderjaw. Is he stuck in a tree? Some kind of drone. Is it watching over this area? Might have some useful data. Get up there. That's a weird sun wing. Alright, time for a big explosion. Big machine like a thunder jaw requires a big explosion. Bombs look pretty good. Let's grab some arrows just in case. A barbarian. And before we spawn the thunder job by walking any closer, I'm gonna activate the trap specialist Valor. The machine will kill you. And we're gonna spawn the thunder job. There you are. I guess we're doing this. And we got the one shot, so he's dead. And that's the thunder job. GG. This time I'm gonna remember to loot my stash before we head into Thebes here. There we go. And also, Aloy, gotta remember, don't need overdraw potions anymore. But we do need the shark traps for Thebes. Let's bring those out. The legacy tells and us now that into Elizabeth Thebes. Sobek helped the ancestors cast aside all obstacles. Yeah, one shot by traps. So eight, been today. eight as a traps, you have been plus uh, the trap specialist is enough to make him go boom. Thebes awaits us below. Shall we? You gotta keep in mind that Thunder Joe also spawns with like, I think it's 60 or 70% of its health. Because, you know, it's supposed to look like the Quen has been fighting it. So, uh, that's why you can do that. Much Doesn't work with every funded job, we had to but uh, great works with that one. Water out. <laughs> the CO, yeah. Don't worry, the CO will be gone soon. Oh, spoiler alert. <laughs> Spoilers? In my challenge run? How dare you? Yeah, it has about 13,000 HP. I believe, uh... Uh, what is it? A uh, regular Apex Thunder Jaw has like what, twenty-five thousand health? I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't remember the numbers, but something along those lines. If you could see the health bar, it's about sixty percent health. I think it is. He yeah, has when he spawns. But obviously, on Ultra Hot, there's no health bars. Yeah, this should get me inside. So Thebes here is probably one of the hardest splits that are left in the run. Because chances of things messing up here in Thebes are quite high. But we got some pretty good strats, so hopefully it'll work out.
Got the turbine. Good. Okay, I'm inside, but how do I let the Quinn in? The living area. It's pretty big, too. So this is the way to the main door, so I can let the Quinn in. Look at this place. It's pretty fancy for a survival bunker. Ah, good. An emergency exit function. Emergency exit initiated. Put on the business pajamas. And Look then we get ready for the corruptors. Ranger. Pharaoh's domain. You peanut. Excellent. Well, Somewhere in that here. is a cute Pharaoh insult. His <laughs> Let's go find them. Perhaps we should leave gone. I think this way might lead down. Excellent. Remember every detail of his, Bohai, for posterity. <laughs> No less than he deserves. Alright, let's not mess this up. Is scary. <sighs> that fight is always scary. Well fought. Thanks. Where's Overseer Bohai? He has decided to return to the surface. A wise choice. We can't afford. Could probably have killed so, the second corruptor faster had I moved backwards for the long range bonus. Four. But I was a little afraid because he had shot fire, I think, twice. So moving backwards without looking would be very risky. So I went for cover and just shot him two extra times instead. Hopefully, there will be some stabilization after the next treatment. God knows what Ted will do to us if there isn't. Way ahead of you, Rock. results were so promising. No signs of aging, no cellular degeneration, but now... Oh, if only I had access to... Uh, Shog is bad, but not for the fight coming up, because we're not placing them right next to the machines. Or my old liquor cabinet. In this fight, we can place them uh, before the... Or, not machines in this case. Before the Quen even spawn, as you're about to see. You saw something. You saw something. Look at all this equipment. We are getting closer to the heart of this place. Forecaster can can't read. Ah, is that a vent of some sort? Not a bad idea. She's gone. Did she make it to the other side? Oh, console. Access Ted's files from here. All right, time for the escape here. Let's go. Didn't I? 
How did the traps not hit him? Where's the other guy? Peak. <sighs> Pharaoh rigged the reactor to overflow if he dies. We he have to run. Hit. Whatever. Survived it. Time for the next thing. Was more scary than it needed to be, but it's we made it. Have a... Done with Phoebes. Don't On to Gemini. Us. But before I head to the ferry, maybe I should stop by Landfall. With the CO gone, maybe more Quen will be willing to talk. Might be uh... worth looking around the island, too. I gotta change out of these clothes. I can't believe the CO made me play dress up. There, then we need to change skill, and we need the uh, stealth stalker next, and then outfit. Oh wait, oh, can't just stalk really. And then back to base. Whew. All right, made it past Phoebes again. Good. On to Gemini. Three more quests to go. If we make it past Gemini, it's a new PB. As my best run got to Gemini, which was yesterday. Or if we make it past Chamber 1 of Gemini, it's a PB. Yes, there's a new game plus. Welcome back. Aloy. I don't have perch water traps. I'm just gonna use spike traps for the long neck. And for Mag, I'm just gonna use acid and Aloy. explosives. I tried. We don't have good luck. Beta, it's tell me what if the long the open and um, the Alright, let's focus up here. Leave, you're right. So what? Uh, is over. I don't know. I look you erased. What? Beta, beta, it's a different boss. He, the day he won't, he won't. What if it was? That's even what it looked. You don't. Oh, you're right. You have yes, I think I don't want okay. Prom I prom I had to make it Aloy. Whenever you are ready, come speak to me and I'll ask the others to make final preparations for the mission. Hello again, Aloy. Alright. <clears throat> 
There we go. For I'll stay here. Protect Beta. They're right to us. Spike miss or Some tied down. Stay back. Finally. All right. Good thing. Get no back. panic. Good thing we didn't panic there. Still breathing. The have survived the first four explosive, and then I don't know why my spike didn't hit him, the one I threw at him, but whatever. Don't need to worry about it. And then obviously just use smoke bomb again to tie him down. Okay, I gotta chase after Hephaestus. Or tie down the Ravager again. Make it retreat to the core. To chamber one. Aloy, I'm patched into your focus feet. You should know there is a huge power draw coming from the next chamber. Thanks for the heads up. I'm almost there. It's some kind of production chamber. Yeah, and I've. Oh, yeah, that probably is what happened. up to something, all right. All right. Gotta be a little quick here so we get there in time for the leap lashers. I don't know, but I'm gonna shut it down. But those metal carriers will lead me to where it's getting materials from. I, I think that's where Hephaestus is hiding, too. Crap. I gotta find where Hephaestus is hiding. Looks like there are a couple of ways. I gotta find where Hephaestus shields. Well, we got that guy, but... Hmm. Well, that uh, I good. might be able to snipe the Leap Lasher from up here. Just need to drop off to land on it. Um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So we're gonna freeze that Leap Lasher and snipe him. Um. Maybe there's a way over the shield. I'm able to catch a ride on one of those metal carriers. Aloy, I've managed to rewire most of the components in the core, but the energy processor's cracked. Without a way to fabricate another, th there's no way I can fix it. Okay, um, let me think. What if you bypass the processor, connect it to the power node? I think that could work. I think it could. Get smoke bombs ready in case I don't land up here. Just a little longer. Okay, we landed. Uh, is the leap lasher? It's over there, though. It with purge water. Hmm. If I jump, can I hit him? Yes. Oh, when he fell to the side. Good. Did you see me? I need to drop down and throw the smoke bomb. And land behind him. There should be a node you can override. Thanks. Cool, calm, and collected. Oh, 
I need an extra arrow for the Grimhorn because I didn't place that many bombs. Now we get. Oh great, the machine's on the way. Beta, the Festus has locked me out of the node. Any ideas? That should kill. I got them all. I tapped into the core's network hub. And that's a new PB. Control of the node. This is where we died yesterday, or got hit yesterday. Nice. Thanks. So now let's see how far we can take it. It sounds like it fled to another chamber. Well, I better not get comfortable. Great. The Festus covered the floor with lightning. I got a little worried on that jump there. Aloy, more machines keep coming. Please tell me you're getting close. I'm working on it. I've been smashing through a lot of machines on my side, too. I guess Aaron's missing out. Aloy, I'm making progress on the bypass, but I, I need something to hold the cycling module together. Maybe a ligament from one of the machine carcasses? Right. Oh, or some luminous braiding. And you could reinforce it with a conversion cylinder. A little cylinder. bit of a scary jump there to uh, that box. I, I think... Can't touch I think the floor. The floor is lightning. <laughs> <laughs> to ride on the rail. Go over the shield. Right, so we snipe this guy from here. And then hopefully. Oh, the watcher spotted me. Um, hmm. Let's just wait for the watcher to lose alertness here. If he walks back to the door here, I just slide down and stab him. Also, it can slide down and throw a smoke bomb in case he doesn't go to the door. Which he did not. Alright, I guess we're doing that. Alright, I need to draw the Festus out of here. Or we can also just do it like this. Got it. Too. Now for the watcher. The three machines that are gonna come now, they don't spawn until I get close to the override platform. So I can plant some bombs here for them. I'm just planting bombs for the watcher. And then for the Bella Bank, I'm gonna get freeze ready. And rope caster. And then smoke bomb for knock and rope caster. Alright, we good. Oh, here we go again. Oh, that doesn't sound good. I'll try to get your access back. in case this fails. Time to follow up. Play it safe. Play it cool. Is it not dead yet? There we go. Yeah, you have to be like one shot there. There. Node access Good. restored. Now you can override it. Number two done. Good work. You did the heavy lifting. Just playing it as safe as possible, obviously. 
Okay. Yeah, and the bombs were a little too far away, really but you know, hide. as we learned from yesterday, uh, rather the bombs be a little f too I far away than a little too close. <laughs> if you were here yesterday, you will know why I say that. <laughs> Everything's glowing. Mark being annoying as always. And yes, we call that Claw Strider Mike. Please don't ask questions. Should, should we come to you? Maybe I could Mark is Apex, yes. No, Beta. Just stay where you are, right. okay? Got the slaughter spine left. Handling the machine's my job. But the slaughter spine on paper should be the easiest machine in the Gemini. I done. You did it. Uh, there, there should be one more note to override. Good. No more hiding, Hephaestus. Got it. Hephaestus is back in the core. A little bit of a sketchy Gemini. Not gonna lie. Messed up uh, the first part with the two machines because the beam has survived. In the first chamber, one of the leap lashers got past me, and, you, and then uh, second chamber, a little Couldn't sketchy with right Mach. But you, we didn't get hit, so that's all that matters. Hey, Lee. The oh. bypass is done. The core is stable. And now, Val is gonna fail the no damage run. Rest in peace. Two more quests to go. What is this? Just a few favorites from my collection. Rescued and stored here just before I went off world. Done so soon? I've got more important things to worry about. Aaron, are you there? Aloy! Aloy, is there? Looks like there's. Uh, I had to crack a on you. So I don't need to change anything there. Just to let you know, I'm now patched into your focus network. Great. I take it the other Zenus can't hear I us? Remember to go to my stash here. Of course not. And they don't know Where about your base either, in case you were wondering. I've sent you data on the Horus energy cells you can use against Regala's forces. Yeah, Val, as we've talked about many times before, Val would have survived had if he had kept the beard. And let's not forget, it's Aloy's fault he did not keep, keep the beard. Before I do anything else, I should check on Zoe. So it's Stephanie it's Aloy's fault. Uh, hey, Aloy. Uh, that room you're in is for you. And we thought you'd like some space of your own. Thanks, Sarant. <laughs> Aloy killed Mal, it's canon. Um, yes. If you want to <laughs> narrow it down to the, just that, sure. <laughs> Definitely blame Aloy on it. Over here, Aloy. I'll try to visit again when I can. But for now, I need to go to the fabrication terminal to install the new. If the kid, so is having, ends up being a boy, it'll grow the most magnificent beard that the world has ever seen. <laughs> For the third game. Even though I doubt we are gonna see the baby be like full grown in the third game. That would be surprising. <laughs> I imagine we're probably gonna see the baby, but fully grown, probably not. 
The baby will be born with a beard. Perfect. I will find a sunwing. I think there are some roosting at the top of the mountain. <laughs> All the shame on Aloy, but no damage. Exactly. There's some wings up here. I'll have to approach them quietly. Got it. Hilda, I'm in the air. Then you'll want to pick up an energy cell on one of the ancient Horus Titans. But first you must send out a pulse to activate them. I've sent you the necessary software. To deploy it, you have to dragon. override <laughs> one of the communication machines you refer to as Tolnex. There's one in the middle of the desert that should do nicely. On it. <sighs> Regala is going to be exciting. So that can definitely go sideways. This run is definitely not over yet, but still got both Regala and Tilda left, which are both kind of tricky, so... <sighs> we'll see how it goes. There's a tonic. Yeah, at least now we know if rocks don't help at all. That's good to know. So we just have to try to abuse the aiming to get her to move in a certain direction. Now, how to land this thing. Why is there a check next to Regal already? Uh, so the way the no-hit counter or thing works is... Uh, I know it's a bit confusing, but basically it's... Mm, the entire Regal thing is marked as green, which means that's the split I'm currently on. The check mark being there just means I haven't gotten hit yet. On the split. But... It turns red if I do get hit. But hopefully that won't happen. Okay, so it basically okay. it's saying I'm on Regala and I haven't been hit Good. on Regala. And the energy cells are now primed. Simply pick but yeah, the UI device. can be a little confusing. The, one the next time I do a no damage position. run of another game, I'll probably try to make a better UI respectable. for the hit counter. Thanks for the assist. I told you, I want to help. Whoa! Because <laughs> we can probably get something that's a little easier to read. And we have full of Alice, so we're good. Well, the check mark also turns into an X instead of a check mark. So not just color change, it also physically changes. So it's either a check mark or an X. <laughs> so even if you can't see the color, you know, There's the energy you can cell. see the shape. <laughs> right on the Titan's back. I should point that out as well, I guess. Got the cell. Now onto the grove. Pulse from the Tolnex should have reactivated all the energy cells in the region. I should be able to pick up more from any horse I fly to. Alright. It'll be useful, even after I deal with Regala. The thing is, Regala is basically just speedrun strats, but I'm still nervous about them. <laughs> Except for the last phase. The first two phases are essentially just speedrun strats, but I'm still nervous about them. <laughs> Even though I've done it thousands of times. Or maybe not hundreds of times, at least. Alright, whatever. Let's focus up and just nail it. Alright, here we 
go. Good eye frames. Alright, so that's how it's gonna be. No. Put the arm. Shit. Don't shoot, please. One more time. Good, she didn't get a shot off. This way we're going. She has the bow out so she doesn't walk in a straight line like she does with the spear. Which is a little bit unfortunate. Uh, don't like them being a little spread. Come on. Yeah, the valor should last. We get more my no. I don't know why when you skip the cutscene that thing is blocking like the image. Hilda, you there? Looks weird, but I did it. For some Silence reason that happens when you skip cutscene. So Alright, we're going down one more quest to go. I'll be there as soon as I can. Singularity. But of course, three different things we have to get through on Singularity. Get through all the Spectres, Eric, and then Tilda. And we need to change to Range Master. Problem, but sorry, you can't be here. <clears throat> yeah, best run was yesterday, which was Gemini. It's the first time we have made it all the way to the end. Better get everyone in and hopefully, the only time we need to go all the way to the end. So, Tilda can tell us what she knows about the Zenith base. Oh, uh, before I forget, I watered those. Oh, sorry, I gotta remember. To change to Thunder Warrior. Actually, no, we changed to. We changed to Thunder Warrior after we get past the Spectres. Still want the stealth outfit for the Spectres. Okay. Maybe it's time to get everyone. We need Thunder Warrior for Tilda and Eric. But before we start the quest, we quickly have to farm some Valor, which can easily be done over next to the quest. Obviously I'm gonna put this on YouTube if uh, it's successful. Obviously. <laughs> but the run is not over until Tilda is dead, guys. So, gotta keep that in mind. You can still very easily lose this run. So 
Still got a good amount left to go. Aloy, it's Kotalo. Thought this might interest you. Three of our soldiers have gone missing in the Valley of the Fallen. The whole area is crawling with machines. And there have been reports of glowing lights off the coast. Marshal Vera should be at the Valley's entrance. She might need your help. Thanks. I'll look into it when I can. So in order to farm Valor here, we are just gonna drop a couple of EMPs on a peg of monkeys that is right below me down here. So if you don't like Clamberjaws, well, we're about to get our revenge on them. <laughs> that is a quick way to farm a lot of Valor without putting ourselves at any risk. Thumbs away. You'd like to do it like three or four times? Only need three times there actually. But we're getting a good amount of L per shot here. To be fair, they also look like they're pretty much packed together, so should help all of them as long as I drop it in the middle of them. Too high or something? I think it went too high so they weren't loaded in. <laughs> Whoops. Whoopsie. A little too high. <laughs> Never go too high. There we go. They're definitely down there now. I barely got it. I know we're gonna get this Valor on Eric or Tilda anyway, but eh, let's just drop it on the EMP for good measure. I don't like Clamper Jones, so whenever I get a chance to, you know, just bomb the shit out of them, I'm gonna take advantage of it. There we go. And then to watch the campfire. Because cool guys don't look at explosions. There. I'm on every point. Alright. Let's get the smoke I bombs ready and the rope caster ready. Before calling in the others to attack the Zenith base. Okay. Under so here we go. Get to the launch tower as quickly as possible. I'll do my best to conceal our Start intrusion. to sneak our way through all the specters there. Company, follow my lead. That's what I do. I think there's a cave up there that might get us through that ridge. Let's climb up to it. I grab it if you need it. This'll help. Good old OP stuff, Armor. What's in this backpack, metal yeah, bricks? Like fight. Yeah, Aaron doesn't seem to understand the concept of stealth. Oh. Oops. Are you okay? I'm fine. I uh, did. Wait, how do you actually get out of the water? It's been a while since I've done this. Oh yeah, over here. <laughs> Whoops. I thought she was gonna grab onto that. 
Should have just glided over like I normally do. <laughs> yeah. I wish I had a glider. I guess I'll find another way. <laughs> dead machines on this island we killed a great many when we landed here their salvage may prove useful to you now <laughs> tired yet <laughs> Like we snuck through. Yeah. Clear those weeds. Vines are clearing up. We're through. There you go. These bastards are good sports. We can take this one, Aloy. Keep moving. That Stormbird carcass should get us over the gap. I hate Stormbirds. <laughs> but I guess, uh, yeah, dead one's handy enough. Now, you remember the good old days when. Our only worry was whether Meridian would be destroyed. You know, instead of the whole world. Oh, yeah. Uh, more specters. I'll attack more you. specters. Smoke bomb. He should jump down. It's not gonna jump down. Here, of this rock. He usually jumps down whenever he spots me or gets close to spotting me. Not today, apparently. But luckily, we have our good old pal Smoke Bombs to take care of that issue. Oh, I don't think complain. they detected us. <laughs> when in doubt, use Smoke Bombs. Forward. Exactly. Keep moving. In case of emergency, yes, use Smoke Bomb. <laughs> you alright? Sort of. And Aaron just casually teleporting. Specter around here. Who's gonna come in and land up here? How many specters do the Zeniths have? Well, then we want to fight at once. So we're gonna sure. shoot him once. Gonna shoot him once. Can't latch on. He's not latching on. What the fuck? That's not good. Why is it not tying him down? Is fighting him, so I can just sit back right now. He hasn't spotted me, so we're good. I guess I just have to try again. Why can't I tie him down? What? There's no plan B. I guess I just have to wait for Aaron to kill him. Why, why is my rope not caster not working? What? Are you still going? 
Looks like the other section's under control. It's worked every time in practice, but not now for some reason. I, I, I mean, honestly, I have no idea what happened. I mean, luckily I could just sit Come back on. and let Aaron kill him, Up but like... That's a bit concerning for the future, in case this is not the run. I guess, if this is not the run, I guess we need to figure out a better strat for that. Aloy, Alva and I are in position. Do it. Blow the regulator. A moment while I ignite the charges. Whatever. I'm not gonna worry about it now. Let's just focus on the rest of the run. We'll worry about it in case we have to do another run. We grabbed it once, we'll get it again. We'll find a way to replicate its functionality, perhaps. Of the Apollo database. So let's not worry about it. Don't you loot? You must be new here. In case we don't make it, I just have one regret. <laughs> what is it? We had to do all this climbing. Not all the specters are fighting our machines. Ah, that would have made it nice and easy. I did not expect him to come back now. Normally when he jumps up there, he doesn't just jump right back down. That's another thing I have not seen in practice either. The game is really doing me dirty right now on this quest. Holy crap. He's gonna jump down over there, though. I think we got through without being seen. <sighs> One more switch. You can get to the launch tower through the hangar up ahead. I'm heading over to join you now. The hangar's in bad shape. But I can see the way in. Another Hurry, one? Aloy. By the blood of the ten! I'm not even gonna try the rope caster. Just gonna make a run for it. Pick it up. Need it. Live long. Oh. Should just fight Regal. Look at all this zenith. Alright, we get Alright. Time to worry about er Eric. Let's just hope the rope gas works until it. I'm trying to get in. Keep at it. We're almost to the tower. I gotta get to the top of the tower and free Beta. Be simple enough. Just do the best you can. Okay, an elevator. Promising. <laughs> Not bad, didn't ya? I'm taking you down. Aloy, are you there? I'm on my way to help. Just need to find my way in there. <sighs> you okay? <I'm sighs> Not a clean, Eric. Yeah. Go. I think my nerves is also just fighting against me right now. <sighs> Alright, only tell the left and we got this. <sighs> I better 
here, take a lift. Come on, Tola, please be nice. Please be kind. Looks like the machines and specters have almost wiped each other out. What was that? Aloy, Gerard just activated the self-destruct failsafe on the printing matrix. He's taking control of a number of systems. Including the lift? I'm afraid so. He's restricted its access to the top. You'll have to climb from there. I have to go. I almost have him. Theron? Is everyone all right down there? Uh, mostly. We're cleaning up the last few specters. What about the Zeniths? Dead, I think. I Zoe told me you got Eric. Good work. Yeah. Thanks. I guess only Tilda and Gerard are all fine. Aloy, you there? Listen, I got into the network, but only for a minute before I was shut out. I found a bunch of flight plans and trajectories, as if the Zeniths were planning to leave Earth. Doesn't make any sense. I know, but there's more. The files I found have no, a lot of it. references to something called Nemesis. Whatever Calm it is, down. the Zeniths are afraid of it. Alva? Alva! What's going on here? Right. Maybe Beta can help me figure it out. Weapons are ready. If she's okay. Let's do it. Better scan that thing first. This is a mockery of the world Elizabeth wanted. Too far. Way scarier than it needed to be. <laughs> oh my god, my nerves were so fucking high. This entire final quest that I just couldn't do anything right. And she told you about Nemesis. But we did it. <laughs> I fucking did it. From Forbidden West without with taking Hades, any damage on Ultra Hard New Game Plus. Everything it's fucking yo. Was based on that knowledge to reach this place this moment. Ha! Let's go! Tell me. Ah, my Come adrenaline on. is so high right now. <laughs> You're Woo! the last person to act sensibly in the face of impossible odds. When I oh, learned, look at the alert, there in a second. Saw the pieces on the board and how to play. Ah, I haven't and felt this adrenaline moment. in a long time. It feels so Ooh, good. Ah, what a run. And oh my god. Attacked. I was correct. <laughs> you ruined my plan. But brought you home to fruition. Also got so like yeah, I was just so yeah. fucking nervous doing the entire last yeah. quest that I just could not just do things correctly. And then 
And then of course the roadcaster not working on that spectre just really worried me. Like holy crap. You can join me if you so desire. Aloy never looks so clean, exactly. Aloy's skin is in perfect mint condition. I'm extending a polite invitation. Because she just beat the entire game without even getting a scratch. Stay. <laughs> Let's go. Thanks for all the GG's guys. Perhaps Tilda didn't adequately define the threat. Nemesis can't be stopped. <sighs> Holy crap. Oh, let's go. Another challenge is down. In a matter of hours. What hope does this primitive tribal earth have? <sighs> if you brought Gaia, you wouldn't be abandoning life. Holy crap. <laughs> like I said, I'll look at the alerts here in a second. Let me just calm down. <laughs> it's the truth <laughs> she made. The sacrifice of all that what a run the hope of what might be if she were here in your place she would board that shuttle Aloy. found her is she hurt <sighs> still on her feet thank the turn goodbye silence ah <sighs> You need to sit down off all that me too. Oh man. Told you today was today. A lot of you were right. <laughs> and this was the first run of the day as well. <laughs> this was the first run of today as well. I guess the YouTube video will have in the flood in it. <laughs> then You did it. Uh. <sighs> Let's go. Hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Hope it was as nerve-wracking to watch as it was to play. <laughs> hey, where's he going? As far away as anyone can go. Oh. Are you sure? <laughs> Oof. I didn't think I was going to get this nervous towards the end of it, because like I, I kept saying, my strategies are so good, you know? It should just work, <laughs> but you people are going to. You know, strategies only work so well when you get nervous. Does anyone else need a drink? Not if it's that ale of yours. Uh, I'd be fine with a nap. Oh <sighs> man! But there we go. Uh. Horizon Forbidden West completed. Without taking any damage on New Game Plus Ultra Hard. Whew, let's go. GG. This was New Game Plus, yeah. <laughs> new Game will probably do at some point. But that's going to be a lot harder, of course. And we're going to need some very good strats for that. But uh, that is future Elk's problem. Because today we are celebrating we did New Game Plus. <laughs> Uh, There's another battle ahead, Elizabeth. Ah, uh, man. But GG. Really hope you all enjoyed the run. The one you fought. So, like, let's just go over it. We had a very nice and clean dawn. You know? Very nice and clean dawn. Very solid embassy. Not really any issues there. And finally got some good it's RNG on embassy, considering... Considering how badly the embassy went, you know, <laughs> on all the other, um, on how bad the embassy went on all the other, um, what's it called? To spread the word and ask for help. On all the other runs. It's nice that we just got good NG first try today. Bloodsopolis was nice and clean, pretty much perfect execution. Um, I think getting past the Spectres, I was a little slow, but fa I was still fast enough to dodge the bullets, so we're good. Uh, Tao was pretty solid. I don't... The Lee Blasher were a little annoying, but, you know, stayed calm and kept just my distance to him, so he never really had a chance of hitting me. And the rest of Tao was pretty standard. Las Vegas, not really anything special there. Same for uh, Beta and Bulwark, I guess. Uh, Bulwark, I missed a couple of shots because I hit some trees, I think it was. To overcome any and I didn't want to peek too much in case the Traumatos was going to shoot. So that's why I was just kind of blind firing. But I just needed one more shot to finish him off. And the uh, greenhouse went perfectly, nothing there. Cool root, same story. 
Actually, no, Colred, we got shock on the snake. Oh, I remember. I almost forgot the snake. God, there were so many close calls in this run. We got shock on the snake, so I had to fight uh, him a bit alternatively. But uh, luckily, he didn't get hit, just got behind cover and then just kept firing at him without giving him a chance to shoot me. Um, San Francisco was clean, Phoebes was pretty clean. Um, oh, yeah, oh wait, no, Phoebes? Oh man, the Quinn didn't... The Quinn with the flamethrower didn't get hit by the bombs and Phoebes. So I had to like take that fight really slowly as well and just, you know, stay behind cover and everything there. Like that, that fight was nerve-wracking too. <laughs> God, all the close calls. Uh, Gemini, um... I don't think there was any close call in Gemini, it was just... Actually, the Ravager and the Behemoth, but other than that, it was just strats, um... The strats were... I just had to improvise a few things in Gemini. And then Regala was perfect, nothing with Regala. Singularity, getting past the Spectres. Uh, yeah, the rope caster failing, and that Spectre not jumping down. Ugh. Some close calls there, but I was so nervous doing Singularity that, you know, I just kept messing everything up there. And then Eric... Um, I was just way too worried on Eric. I was way... I worried so much about not peeking too much on Eric that uh, it took me a while to kill him because I just couldn't get those clean shots off on him. Because uh, I was more worried about dodging than shooting. But uh, we got him, nonetheless. And then Tilda. Oh boy, Tilda. Um, I actually managed to tie her down pretty well, but I was a little too far away with the Bolt Blaster. It didn't look like it was too far away in the moment. It probably was pretty obvious too far away if I looked back. But again, I, I was just a little nervous. <laughs> um, so I still got a decent amount of damage with the Bolt Blaster, but not quite as much as I wanted. And then I just had to keep my distance to Tilda and time my smoke bombs and just, you know, keep firing at her until she was down. She did do that one, you know, big attack where she makes that big fireball, but luckily that attack is actually quite easy to dodge if you're not too close to her. Because you can just keep moving sideways and then it should not catch up to you. But you have to move fast though, and I was able to do it, so that's good. And then, uh... Ugh. So yeah, yeah, the real enemy of this run was just dealing with the nerves at the end. Like I said, I, I don't think I've been this nervous since... I don't know when I was last this nervous, but holy crap. It must have been, uh... It probably was the last time I got a Seared on PB, or World Record. Oh, but man, it felt good to complete it. So that's another challenge run down. We have completed New Game Plus on Ultra Hard Difficulty, without taking any damage. It's definitely not going to be my next, um, sorry, it's definitely not going to be my last no damage run of Forbidden West. I'm sure the next one will probably be Burning Shores when that comes out. And then eventually we can look at trying to do new game Ultra Hunt. It's just new game is going to be such a different beast compared to this. So I don't know, but we'll worry about that in the future. I'm definitely going to attempt it, but I think that's going to be so incredibly difficult. But we'll see. Like I said, that's a worry for future elk. <laughs> uh, but what's the next challenge? Um, the next thing I'm probably gonna do in Forbidden West is... Um, I wanna redo my um, Platinum Trophy speedrun. I wanna redo the Platinum Trophy speedrun with, uh, with some of the new strats that P-Dub has found for it. Because I feel like it can do that better. But that'll be the next thing and then... I'm not sure what's after that, we'll see. We'll see. But that will probably be the next thing. <sighs> so we'll see. Green weapons only? Ah, I'm not sure if I want to go back to green weapons only. I might just go to more difficult weapon challenge runs. But um, we'll see. But the next thing will probably be platinum. The redo of the platinum trophy. <sighs> will be the next thing. But yeah, GG on this no damage run. Um, I guess also just to mention, I'm probably still gonna focus a bit on challenges and challenge runs until until we get close to the end of um, what's it called? 
until we get close to the end of January, because then I'll switch over to speedruns again. Because then we have to get ready for ESA. But, um, yeah, for now we are... Uh, for now, we're going to focus on some challenges, and next thing will be the Platinum. So, let's focus on that. But GG, New Game Plus, Ultra Hard without taking damage, has been completed. Let's fucking go. GG.